The human heart is still one of the biggest mysteries in medicine and anatomy. The main reason for our lack of understanding is the complexity of the heart's structure and its phenotype. However, modern technology is helping us to understand this amazing organ. At the Barcelona Supercomputing Center, and in close collaboration with medical doctors and bioengineers, we are developing a large-scale simulator of the human heart called Alia Red, the computational cardiac. In our simulator, we can apply electric impulses directly to any zones of the heart, just like a pacemaker would do. These initial impulses unleash a generalized propagation of electricity through the whole cardiac structure in a coordinated way. Thanks to the optimized organization of muscular fibers, this electrical flash makes the ventricles contract during what is known as the systole. To create the best possible cardiac simulator, in terms of realism and detail, we rely on tools and data that have not been available until recently. The geometry and shape of the heart are measured using magnetic resonance imaging with a resolution of up to 36 micrometers, which allows us to construct a mesh with hundreds of thousands of computational elements. Electricity travels much faster along cardiac muscular fibers than across them. So a correct anatomical description of their arrangement is probably the most important element in obtaining a realistic electromechanical model of the heart. In our cardiac simulator, we can use diffusion tensor imaging information, as well as mathematical models, allowing us to validate theory with experiments and improve our numerical methods. These simulations will help medical doctors to better understand how our body works, to diagnose pathologies, to plan operations and treatments, and to test and design new drugs. Nowadays, large-scale simulations of the human body may seem like science fiction, but techniques like magnetic resonance were also science fiction only 50 years ago. With the help of information technology, the future of medicine is being built today.